the high desert of the Colorado Plateau. A red rock wonderland of incredible sandstone formations towering above the landscape. During the day, temperatures can get quite high. Even the harvester ants retreat into their nests during the warmest hours. But after the sun sets and the temperatures begin to drop, creatures crawl from their dark nooks. For many, it is time to feed. The western black widow spider is one such creature, rising up from within an abandoned burrow or from various human-made crannies. In the dark, they wait motionlessly in the center of their chaotic webs, waiting for prey to fly blindly into them. The spider quickly reacts, running down to the struggling insect and biting it with its powerful neurotoxic venom. As the venom takes effect, the prey is then wrapped in silk. With the prey immobilized, the spider can relax and feed at its leisure. When it is ready to feed, the spider will return, injecting enzymes that will break down the insides of the captured food. Then the spider sucks out the resulting slurry. Due to this venom being potent enough to make humans sick, these animals are somewhat feared. Although most bites will cause nothing more than localized pain, only if enough venom is injected will more severe symptoms appear, but even then the venom is rarely fatal. Despite a bite from a black widow rarely being life-threatening, it is best to leave these spiders be. Bites usually only occur when the spider feels threatened and cannot escape. Contrary to what their name suggests, or popular belief, these female spiders do not usually devour the male after mating. This one is comfortably cleaning himself near his much larger mate. Those large discs near his mouth are called palpal bulbs, used during mating to transfer sperm to the female. These male black widows are harmless as their venom glands are just too small to give a dangerous bite to humans. As the sun illuminates the sandstone cliffs, the black widows return to the shadows. <laughs>